to me. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna be demonstrating the unboxing and review of the Shattered Backboards 3.0. So, you know, Nike box. <laughs> um, this is not a basketball. Retail price, 120 for kid size. And for men's size, 160 retail price. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Look at this, my paper is messed up. This paper never fails to be messed up. Like never. But this is it. Um, I have a feeling that, sorry about my nails. The kid size looks way better than the men's size because on the men's size, it looks like it's like wrinkled up. Like, don't get me wrong, they all look wrinkled, but the men's look more wrinkled, right? So, they come with orange laces, eggs are extra, and black laces on them. I have not laced them up. I should lace them up. I'll probably lace them up for the preview video that I'll show you guys in a few. But, I'm gonna show you the other foot. All right, so I really, I didn't like the bottom at first because as you can tell, it's like, it's like yellowish. Then I thought about it. You know, after a while, stickers get dirty. I feel like this is really a color that cannot get dirty. Like, I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but I'm pretty sure some of you do. But it'll take a, a hard time to get dirty. I'm really nervous about the crease. As we all know, Nike sometimes gives sneakers out with manufacturing issues. And it's like, I'm not paying out of my pocket to get a shoe that has spilt over left glue or paint color where it's not supposed to be so you know just be careful because for them to be able to achieve this like shiny whatever you want to call it look it is required to have a certain material put on it and it might be coming off a little which is something i'm really worried about i did want these though because halloween is around the corner you know wear them on halloween but let me give you guys a view of how exactly it looks from the side, right? As you can tell, it, like literally, you can see the light reflecting off of the shoe. All right, now it's focusing on me. Don't focus on me. <laughs> They're pretty nice though, don't get me wrong. Um, I'm probably gonna have an issue wearing them in like May or like July or like due to the color. But I feel like if you got the swag to pull it off, you could definitely put it off. Um, I understand that this is like supposed to be like a remodel of the original shadow backboards and everybody's a fan of the original ones. But guess what? I don't have 900 plus dollars to afford my size in those. So, I just wanna show you guys these. These are pretty nice. Um, maybe, I feel like maybe it would've looked nice if it was just like all black and then just this and this orange. But then that would defeat the purpose of the name of the shoe probably. I forgot to say the Nike and the inside is orange. I definitely did forget. It's orange. I find that so lit. This is fire. I'm not gonna hold you. A lot of y'all hating, but. 
I pay very close attention to my shoe, make sure everything is good, stitching, everything, paint, glue, as everybody should though. Don't be out here spending your money on some shoe that does not look right to how it should look. Y'all see me right now? I look like a goofball man. <laughs> Making sure everything is um, up to part. Nike, hire me. But besides that, this looks very nice. Um, be careful though. Watch out for like extra sh stains of like the material they used, like I said. Because look, as you can tell right, let's zoom in. I don't think you can tell. There's like a little bit of spots that you like kind of have to rub your finger over. When you purchase the shoe, just make sure it doesn't have that. You know, it comes off, of course. You know, we're from the hood, so. A lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people were saying they're ugly. But honestly, I feel like it all has to do with style. Cause guy, like, guess what? Um, ugly, wear. Like I said, everybody got a pair of bad feet. So I guess this is my pair of bad feet. So leave me alone. Look at how that shoe is just chilling right there. Disrespect. Like, these are not bad feet. Um, I feel as if, if you have a certain style, and I wear black a lot. I wear black most of my time. But if you wear black, you can rock this with an all black fit. That's it, easy, fly. Put some gold on. I wouldn't wear silver with it though. I don't know about that. Going for like 440 kid size, men's size, probably around the same because they just released September, I think, 26. Don't take my word for that, I think it's 26. And this is me showing them off on my feet. They look really cute, tied up. You know, make sure your laces are like parallel to each other. Left over right, right over left, whatever you pick. Um, I definitely see myself wearing these more than once. Just gotta go with the right outfit. And they're just cute. You know, I didn't think I would like the yellow, but I think it's growing on me. I might want some more Jordans with this bottom, whatever you call it, vanilla. <laughs> but yeah, that's my review for the Jordan 1's Shattered Backboard 3.0. Go cop yourself a pair. And guys, you know, if you wanna see more reviews on sneakers, let me know what sneakers you like. Let me know what sneakers is dropping that you think I should get that will look nice, that I should review and unbox. Like, subscribe, share, comment, sh share, 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 everything. Um, I appreciate all the love I've been getting on my last videos for unboxing and I hope that you guys can continue to grow with me and everything that I'm doing so have a good day go cop some sneakers spend some money <laughs> <laughs>